death. Circle of death. Circle of death. There it is. Oh, circle of death, circle uh, of death. apparently we're live. Let's start the <gasps> we're show. We're live, y'all. We're live. Yay. Oh, what? Shit. It, yep. We're having trouble streaming to your destination. Are you getting that? Too? Yeah, that's mine. It, it's mine. I figured it would be. Hold on. Um, while it is doing its thing, I will go in and try to fix that. Hey, let's okay. start. It's like pretty behind, but 
Yeah. 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 There's the a huge gap between when we start. Oh, and yeah. It shows up on Rumble. Mm -hmm. uh, and I haven't checked YouTube. There may be one for YouTube too, but it's on there. We're good. We're live. Go Wait. We're live. We're ready. <laughs> hey, what? Oh, shit, we're live. We're live, y'all. <laughs> oh, right. my gosh. <sighs> the only thing is I'm running into the same issue yes. where um, you're, it looks like you're, uh, which we call it is showing up, but mine is not. See? Okay. What the hell, y'all? Because the Wait four. Wait a minute. How is it not playing now? Wait, I had I? it playing and now it's oh, not. Right. Uh, okay, no, hold on. Oh, it is it, I don't uh, know if it's Okay, give me a second. To I'm going to uh, give me give me a second. I'm going to leave the studio and okay. uh fix that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, sounds fair. Y'all, yeah, we're having issues. And Chris, that's what I sing. Every time I hear Jester's song, I'm sitting there in the background. I'm going, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Believe me, when there's the music, it sounds a whole hell of a lot better. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is while Arlene is doing that, I'm going to go ahead and say hey to everyone in chat because it is frustrating to set up your stream and have it not be right. But we got, hey, Penny, we got Penny. How are you doing? I know she said she had to go to church, but she was going to leave the stream open. So, yeah, I just hope you're not having church in where the stream is running because I, I know, I'm, I'm sorry, Penny, I know my language needs to be better, but you know, hey, it is what it is, but, but have a good, have a good night at church and thank you for leaving us uh, uh, open. And we have Chris who's on Rumble and he was for, I mean, uh, YouTube and he was first on Rumble. Sorry, Sensei. Well, you know, it says I will crop up at some point. And see that. And if he does, well, you know what it is, Chris? He's always first. He just is. It's like the standard thing. But okay. We got JP. Hey, JP. He's on a break at work. So I'll miss the streaming. That's okay. That's all right. You can rewatch. We're good. We're gonna we're gonna be here as long as it'll let us be here. And let's see. I saw Scott Westbrook. Hey, Scott. Always love your avatar. Always do. And we've got Zacharot. Good evening, Zacharot. Good to see you tonight. Chris says, for a nice change of pace, it was because Arwen didn't, A, forget to charge her phone. True, I am currently at 50-something percent. Or Smudge, Smudge was not playing with the internet hose. He was, he's <laughs> being a good boy. <laughs> Welcome back. I was just going mm. through the chat saying hey. Yay. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, a it's nice gamer now, tonight. Good, good, good. Good to see you. We got Jedi anyway. Bill. Hey, Jedi Bill. Let the cinnamon spice flow. Yes, good. good. <laughs> Apollomy's minion. Hey, Apollomy. And we've got Squeaka. Good evening. Oh, we're going to crash shopping. What are we going to buy? What are we going to get? Ooh. I love crash shopping. Fun. Hell it, yeah. it sounds like you said crap shopping. <laughs> oh, craft shopping. Yeah. Craft. Craft like you know, craft store. Yes. Hey, Wolvie, Wolverine. And I think I got mm -hmm. oh LT. Hey LT, how are you doing? Good hello, to see hello. You. Lovely Sherry. Welcome okay. tonight. Awesome to see welcome, you too. Welcome. Hey, Orc. Hey, Orc. Trippin' Orc. Trippin' Orc. And Jester's asking, oh, should he ask okay. what happened to your stream? Well, uh, I'll explain later, baby. But right, it should be up I and running it. now. It should All right. be up and running now. I'm looking at it, and it looks okay. So, um, over... Pull it up and... Uh, it, yeah, pull it up on your side and see. Let it looks fine look. on my side. <clears throat> but over Arlene. on my side... Uh, hello, my darling Jester, and hello, Chris Persia. Uh, and to the lurkers, see. because it says I have like 10 watching. So, hello, lurkers. We're live. We're live. We're yep. still going. Oh, wait. Let me go to the end. Hang on. I'm behind. Uh, let's see what it happens when it gets to the end of the stream. No, we're good. We're good. We're, you're good. You're good. Yep. You're good. 
yeah so anybody that was watching on mine you can head back over there it's it's good good to go now i just had to um figure some stuff out and i figured it out because i'm a fart smeller i mean smart feller what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> no 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 i am not that no what no, a no, smart no. feller a fart smeller <laughs> All I did was change the first two letters, Arwen. I know, I got it, I got it. I guess I'm not the. No, only you'd either. be, you'd be a fluff, a fluff smeller. No, <laughs> y'all, some of our bodily functions just need to go back to the caveman <laughs> days. That's all I'm saying. I get oh it. My. It's natural and normal, and but yes, and everybody know. does it, like the book. Everybody no. poops. Yeah, but it's it's just not something I. Yeah, I just ew, y'all ew. Just all I'm <laughs> I don't care if other people do it. I just I don't like doing it. It's it just feels like oh my gosh. And it's just I don't know. And it's I'm uh, weird. I'm weird, but that's that's why I call it fluff and not a fart because it sounds prettier. I'm all about <laughs> making things prettier and making things. And I can I can just see it now. <laughs> this is how Arwen imagines her farts. <laughs> so we Stop got it. a new um. Uh, shit, what do you, Contrail in Fortnite. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> for those of you who haven't seen yes. it, it, it's, um, what's her name? Is it, it's not Aphrodite. Artemis. Let it's me see Aphrodite. if I can find a, a clip it's of it. Aphrodite's, uh, Contrail. And <laughs> it, you're, you're falling and then poof, it's a poof of smoke, but it's a heart. And it's pink and glittery. And I I can imagine that's probably what Arwen thinks her farts look like. I think I found it. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, God. Never mind. <laughs> Continue as guest. Oh, gosh. All right. Hang on. Uh-oh. She found it. Let me share this. Y'all got to see this. I'm not kidding. It's glorious. And it's got, it's got the immortal Aphrodite's glider with it. But let me share. I've got so many damn tabs open. You always do. <laughs> oh, my God. I went to do something today. And my mouse kind of slipped. And sometimes it, my thumb will slip and it'll click on shit that I don't know what I'm doing. And a screen <laughs> came up that said, are you sure you want to open 34 tabs? I'm like, no. <laughs> it's <laughs> I'm like, my God, uh, no, I've already got 20 something open. I don't need 34. Uh -huh. <laughs> and while you're looking that up, Chris uh, Persh says, Arlena, I thought there was an Arwen edition of Everybody Poops titled Everybody Fluffs. <laughs> and then Jester says, also, Everybody don't Farts, even Arwen, don't listen to the fluff fake news. <laughs> <laughs> fake news. It's fake it's news. It's not. It's You're not. fake it's news. The fluff is fake news. Y'all have heard this story before. It took me four and a half think, years. Um, like I from think, when we started dating to when after a year and a half after we got married before I even did that in front of my husband. So come on now. Yep. And, you know, and he just, so. What? I thought I had a picture of that book, but apparently I don't. Oh, I do. Which Hold book? One. Um, I have happened to have a, um, a copy. Hold on. <laughs> FFN Fake Fluff Network. Shut up, Denise. <laughs> that's that's me. a copy of the the cover of of the book. <laughs> what the Everybody hell? Everybody fluffed. <laughs> everybody fluffed. <laughs> yep. That's everybody fluffs. So, so, Get so your copy me... on Amazon and and <laughs> wherever <laughs> books are sold. <laughs> Barnes and Noble. <laughs> this makes me think by some of these images that this this is kind of that's pre that was pre-done that was i don't know I if don't, you can actually that's not a real book is it it's a real book it's, it's a real it's, book it's a legitimate real book with a little redhead girl and a yeah. unicorn's butt and an owl and i don't know and an owl and is. a banana yeah, yeah absolutely replace the banana <laughs> for a fork <laughs> Right. Oh gosh, there's there goes Orc. Peely doesn't fluff. Oh, Peely <laughs> is a fluff. He's a big walkie yellow fluff. 
That's what Peely is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> anyway. Hey, y'all. Uh, hey, everybody. No, he's still Does married every- to LT. I- oh, my God. Hang on. I got to explain this shit. I did not. It was a year and a half after we got married. We had been engaged for three and this is one of my most embarrassing moments, but I'm going to share it with, with, with you freaking gas bags because that's just what I do. I love y'all so much. And I know some of y'all have heard this story before. I was uh-huh. standing in the hallway. I didn't, <laughs> he, I thought he was in his office. Didn't hear him cut out, uh, you know, come out of the office. And I was like, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And it was loud and it was strong and it shook the earth. And all of a sudden I hear behind me, Oh my God. (laughs) And I flew around and he's sitting there and he busts out laughing. And I'm like, you were right behind me too. Well, after that floodgates were open, I didn't give a shit anymore, but (laughs) four and a half years. I kept my cheeks together for that man. Just (laughs) my God, four and a half years. Lord have mercy. He took uh, it so, to his grave. So Jester was asking uh, everybody, does everybody fluff come in audio book? And Chris Persia <laughs> let him know that that might be in the works. What? Oh my and, God. and Chris says, what the hell are when you held it in for three years, technically four and a half, Chris, uh, you know, half. that's not good for you. <laughs> I mean, I found a powder room and did my thing in private. It wasn't like I didn't uh, fluff for four and a half years. I'd probably be dead by now. But no, uh, I let him rip. I was just by myself. Not anyone else around but God. And, and then, he don't uh, care because he made us this way. Right. And then Jester says uh, that he's going to make sure to get himself a copy of Everybody Fluffs on the audio Jester, audio no, book yes. version. No, no one wants that. Not a person <laughs> in this world. Yes, we want it. We want it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I'm just, I'm sorry. There's some things you do in private. It's just, for me, again, for I me, don't care. I don't care about anybody else. Everyone could fart in memory all day long. And as long as it's not too stinky, I'll stay in the room and laugh like everyone else. <laughs> but I just don't want to do it. I don't want to. Yeah, I just, I'm sorry. I'm weird that you way. You know I'm what? This way. is so <laughs> true because Arwen has been up here twice now. <laughs> And I know I've farted around her because you I have. Just don't heard care. It. You have. And, and uh, I don't recall one time hearing Arwen fart. Told y'all. <laughs> or and fluff. If there's any way I can help it, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I if know. only Kenobi and Satine could talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, that's another story. I don't include animals in that. I'm never going to do it. They're there. They're too bad. Get out of the way. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> you know? God. And it's just, oh, no. Jester over on my rumble. Oh, no. Jester over on my rumble said, audio books. Fuck the world. <laughs> Jester. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. LT, best conversation on YouTube today. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate that, LT. Look, we keep it real over here, and sometimes we, sure we keep do. it base, <laughs> very base. But yeah, we, yeah, we try and pretty up the subjects a little bit. No, no, Arwen tries to pretty up the subject. <laughs> I keep this shit real. She does. <laughs> she does. She keeps it real. So, like, like is. the little, um, like the little thing that, um, what is it? The little emoji that Fat Steven has on his channel. Uh huh. With with the green fluff coming out of its butt. No, that's not. And and, and you want <laughs> and you're like, no, it needs to be pink and glittery. No, the it green does. is accurate. No, but no, but in your head, it's the the pink and glittery. Do you want to know why? Because <laughs> we don't actually see color coming out of our ass, so it could be any color I want it to be, and it'll be okay. You don't actually see <laughs> green gas coming out of my butt, y'all. It's that, that is fake news. That was Steve's uh, addition to it. Oh, oh my God. Hold on. I, <laughs> I'm just looking, said. I'm, it is, but it's uh, also <laughs> Arlena. This is Chris Persia. Arlena, is it because Arwen chose not to fluff, but instead chose to fumigate your place instead? Chris. Hashtag silent but deadly. Chris. 
No, and no. If mine were silent but deadly, Arlena might have been like, "Ooh, I smell eau du sulfur. What's going on around here?" She never did. She never Smells did. like rotten eggs. What the hell? No, no. Yeah, oh, and is. then and then Jester says, "FTW is for the win." What the hell, baby? Fuck the world. I'm not that savage. I've always thought FTW <laughs> was just fuck the world. I didn't know it was also for the win. Fuck the world. <laughs> I see FTW and I think fuck the world. Not for the win. I'm sorry, y'all. I am dead. And y'all know where my head is. I am fuck dead. the world. Fuck the world. <laughs> Angry double birds. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, Lord Toth for the win. For the uh, win. Yeah, no, no. Well, I'm it, glad it you fuck the world. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> I'm so confused now. I saw that today and I couldn't figure out what the hell it meant. So I'm so glad. FTW? But, yeah, I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I thought it was a Fortnite <laughs> thing. Hey Shay, hey, I'm, Shay. Not, I'm not eating or drinking right now. Yes, between the fluff talk and the um, the FPW talk. <laughs> we do keep oh, it earthy here. Yay, Apollo me. Oh, awesome. you didn't have to do that. Apollo you haven't seen it yet, have you? You haven't no, seen it. No, uh -uh. I've seen it. I, not not the beaded, but I've seen the picture she chose. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see this thing beat it. Like completely beat it. Oh, I bet. Whatever it is, I'm sure you're it's gonna, gorgeous. You're going to just lose your shit. Oh, yeah. It. I mean, it is <laughs> stunning. Okay, okay. So apparently, apparently, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you're a gamer, FTW is always for the win. Okay. Because Jester just let me know, I'm a gamer, baby. FTW is always for the win. For the win. Okay. So I wouldn't consider myself a gaming i do uh a gamer i do game a lot but i'm um a, a marine at heart so ftw for me is always fuck the world yeah i'm the oh same. you know what I'm, I'm um talking about mary um mary finally got to stream again on monday with mark yeah the um what was it, it takes two and <laughs> and of course of course they're just hilarious and that so, um, thumbnail oh uh, yeah and if y'all want to check it out chris persia could uh put a link to mary's page in the chat for us we would greatly appreciate it and uh <laughs> go check out mary's page um she mm -hmm. has great content she does a lot of fundraisers y'all already know all this for the kids but we love her and we want to make sure she gets as many eyes on her as, as possible absolutely we absolutely we do we absolutely do yep <sighs> and, and, <laughs> and sometimes you know take her stream in a totally different direction than what it was supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mary lets us <sighs> on there, and we all have fun. Oh my God, Scott! Hang on. Scott oh. says the scintillating conversation and highbrow entertainment value is why I keep coming back here. Yeah, thank yes, you, Scott. Yeah. Well, we are highbrow. Good, good, we good, are good. scintillating. I am. The I side am of sipping, fava beans. It's I am okay. sipping my tea as we speak. Yes, we're very scintillating. Absolutely, we like a chianti. <sighs> With some fava beans. <laughs> some fava beans. <laughs> a side of fava beans. <laughs> hey, we keep... Adega once said that I was earthy, and actually, I loved that. And I'm like, Arlena, we are earthy. We are very I'm, earthy. We keep I'm it earthy, too. Very real. Yeah, you're... Oh, what? Uh-oh, you're row body. Or is that just to me? Is is she row body to everybody or just to me? Uh, I don't. I don't chat, know. You can't hear you're, me. Okay, there you go. You're back. Bridge. Okay, I was like, "Well, I'm gonna tell them put one in chat because if you can't hear me, they they're gonna hear." Uh, uh, yeah. Right. 
They're not going to hear you say put a one in chat if you can't hear me. I, so I was like, <laughs> that's oh. That's kind of, hold on. That's kind of like, and you're never going to live this one down. What? That's kind of like when Arwen said, hey, I'm going to mute and go to the powder room and get me something to drink. <laughs> oh when God. I get back, remind me to unmute. <laughs> I forgot about that. Stop. Why do you bring that up? Arwen, <laughs> if you're muted, how am I going to know that you're back? I know. I know. Yeah, Chris, you were there, I think. You were there. Uh-huh. I, yes. You know, yes. I, I consider Remind all you un- motherfuckers can <laughs> read my mind. I just assume we can all read each other's mind, but apparently not. <laughs> all right. So there it is. Chris, Chris shared it. Thank you, Chris. What I was going to say, Arlene, if I'm earthy, <laughs> you're like crust of the earth. You are like. Oh, my God. I thought I thought you were going to say crusty for a second. I was no, like, you're I like, take a shower every day, woman. You're crust <laughs> of the earth. You're like foundation. <laughs> you're like, without you, I like, would be fucking fall into the sea. That's how earthy you are. <laughs> I'm like, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're a little more, I would say, I don't know, a cooler earthy than me. I'm, I'm earthy yeah. in that every once in a while I'll hug a tree. I burn <laughs> sage. I collect crystals. I y- burn incense. That's my earthy. I, I wear patchouli sometimes, y'all. I wear fucking patchouli. Usually mixed with neroli because it softens it, but whatever. But you're like, give me a gun. Let me shoot something. Yeah. And I'm going to yeah. be okay. And you, you, you can self yes. survive is my point. You're badass. That to me is the earthiest of them all. Someone who's badass, particularly a woman who is genuinely badass. Not Hollywood badass, but who's real badass. That's earthy. Mm-hmm. And I, that's why I took that as a compliment when Adega oh, said yeah. that. Well, we love like, Adega. Yeah, we do love Adega, y'all. We do love Adega. We love Adega. So, uh, but thank y'all for bringing up my fading mind and memory. Oh, I my appreciate God. that. No, my God, Shay. That is fucking hilarious. I'm sorry. Just I'm going to highlight it because I can. Yes, I, I was getting ready to just to maybe uh, just for you. I hope you read that and, and laugh your ass off. <laughs> Jester, slip your lane crossed. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Apollo me. No. Oh, well, literal earthy stuff. Yeah, I could that. The earth when you're allergic can be a nasty place. Oh, Even definitely. a rose can be deadly if you've got, oh, yeah. you know, it's just. And yeah. hi, Scott. Thanks for popping into my rumbles. The world is wild, y'all. That's yeah, I call yeah. it the wilds, out in the wilds. It's wild. That's what, it's, uh, anything outside of Arwen's front door, including the grocery <laughs> store, is the wild. <laughs> <laughs> what was I talking about? Potatoes with the wild. Uh, you were talking about stuff. We were on Mary <laughs> on Mary's channel, and you were talking about something. You said I would go out into the wilds of the, the whatever grocery <laughs> of where store. I live. Shit, and I think I uh, said where uh, I live anyway. <laughs> no, you didn't say where you live, but you said oh, okay. the grocery store name. Okay, and uh, because Mary lost it, Mary was like the wilds of what, and you were like the supermarket. <laughs> And we all just died. What the wild? Of the supermarket? What the hell? (laughs) Hey, Claude. Hey, Claude. I don't exactly know who's making that potato salad. You know, we're talking about store-bought potato salad, y'all. When I don't know who's Uh making it, what the hell's going in and where them hands have been, wild enough for me. So I'd rather make my own. And I don't like store bought This is true. Salad. They put all sh- yeah, I don't crap either. in it that I don't want. I don't want onions. Yep. And I don't want celery. And I don't want what the fuck goes. I saw something that was purple one time. What the hell is this? Is this cabbage? Is this purple cabbage? <laughs> I don't know. It's purple. weird. <laughs> yeah, it was Nothing like um purple you know, should be in potato salad. It's like that purple red. It was little flecks of it. I'm like, I am not eating that. Now that, to be fair, was like mm-hmm. it's some church function where all the Christian women cooked. And let me tell y'all, uh-huh. you know what? Christian a women can a potluck. A potluck. They look. can cook. They can. But somebody brought potato salad with purple shit in it, and I was like, hell to the no. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not gonna eat it. 
Oh, for so, Apollobius yeah. is allergic to the state that she lives in. Uh, if that sounds right. We need you to come to the South, Apollonies. You'd like it down here. I'm, mm -hmm. Seriously, I think you would like it down here. What? You, you Why really in the did. world would you be willing to risk food poisoning with store bought potatoes? I don't. I don't. I don't buy it. But, <laughs> I don't buy it, but people do. Okay, could have been Spanish onion. Yeah, could have been an onion. I, okay. I, just, mm -hmm. I don't know, but it was that shit was purple. And I'm like, no. Yeah. No. But yeah, no. I do not eat store bought potato salad. Oh, oh my. God, oh, Sherry. Oh, oh. I guess that's the beautiful thing about the potato is you literally can dress it up however the hell you want it and customize it to your desires. But my desire is plain potato. I like, you German know, potato salad. Now, the one I had in Helen was amazing. I will say that. Um, and that's what inspired me. When I make potato salad now, I make it hot. And then let uh -huh. it cool off naturally. I melt butter in it. I do mayonnaise. I do must uh, just regular yellow mustard, salt, pepper, maybe a little paprika if I want, maybe a little dill weed. If I'm feeling really spicy, I'll throw a little bit of dill relish in there. But that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's still American. <laughs> it's that's yeah, nothing else in it. Nothing that's else in it. still very American potato salad. German potato salad's not made with oh no i don't make a german potato salad i just make it hot no i don't know what the hell's in a oh, german okay. potato salad. it was it was good a vinegar it was good it was a little tangy yeah it, had the, it was tangy that must have been the vinegar but i liked it being mm. hot i'm like you know i bet this mm -hmm. would be really good because all the condiments could kind of melty into each other and melty into the potatoes you know when you do it when it's cold <laughs> it's just kind of laying like a slab on top you want it to melt that's what it does why why sherry why she doesn't know she always <laughs> she always yeah it. i am not mad at you one bit there sherry i am <laughs> not mad at you one bit girl beets oh my but gosh beets are a pretty color beets are a pretty color I have I'm okay have i told the story about my dad's adventure with beets no no do tell i haven't heard this in this perfect time sherry write that down for your it. sister right i don't think so. y'all i I've, don't think has she told the story about her dad i don't care tell I, me I, I think I, I've, I don't I've remember shared it. it before but you okay. know there's new people here that might not have heard it so and i don't um, remember it anyway because i'm so damn scatterbrained lately but go ahead so y'all know my, my dad has passed god rest his soul he passed last january um but when I was, oh gosh, I guess I was in my, I was in college because I remember going home and my mom telling me about this, uh, probably getting ready to go into, but so probably around 20. And <laughs> the old inventions of Raleena and Beats. No, this is me. <laughs> and my mom is telling me. So your dad just got back from the doctor's office. Uh, he had to go a couple um, because he saw blood in his stool. And, you know, okay. there's a history of colon cancer in the family. So he uh, sorry. Um, immediately, you know, went to the doctor and, and you know, tried to get it checked and yeah. made an appointment and everything. So he goes and um, uh, our or asks him, says, um, did you strain when you went? And my dad was like, no, I just, you know, normal. And there's no uh, or anything. So it's not that. Mm -hmm. He's asking my dad all these questions. And my dad's like, no, no, no. He's like, what did you eat for dinner? And my dad's going, you know, we had chicken and mashed potatoes or, and, um, uh, uh corn and this and that and he said and i had some beets i had a lot of beets because i love beets my dad used to eat the beets right out of the damn can oh my god and <laughs> the doctor looks at him and said you ate that many beets <laughs> my dad said yeah i ate quite a few beets and he says well we're gonna get you some testing done just to make sure but it was probably the beets 
that you oh. saw. If you ate that many, it was probably the beets digesting. And my dad oh was my like, God. my dad was like, well, how, how will I know? You know, if this happens again, you know, I know we're going to run tests and stuff, but if it happens again, how will I make sure that I don't make another doctor's appointment? And my doctor had such a, our doctor back then had such a great sense of humor. He looked at my dad and said, I'm, I mean, the only thing I know to tell you is stick your finger in there and taste it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he told my dad in the toilet after he's pooped <laughs> and if there's red and stuff in it to taste it to see if it's beets or blood <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I am dead <laughs> well, and my dad okay. was like mom Dying, telling me this whole story she like could oh hardly my god damn Arlena. story and my dad was like so appalled that my mom told me this story he's like <laughs> hey, i have to tell her that she doesn't need to know about what goes on in, in the bathroom <laughs> and, and my mom was like, like no no <laughs> oh no she needs to know because <laughs> you know she don't need to Make appointments with the doctor too. Should this ever happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. Is it true that beets are so hard to digest they can make you bleed when you poo? I have no idea. I, I, I don't mean, why know. was he bleeding? Why would it be blood and not? He beets? wasn't bleeding. He was not bleeding. It was the beets. Oh, it because was the, the beets. I result. thought he was actually the test, bleeding. All the tests. No, all the tests oh, came my back God. and it. And he was fine. There was nothing wrong. It was, it was the beats. Just the beat. Oh, because God. the beats See, are red. <laughs> my God, I'm I just had dead. to explain that to Arwen. Oh my God! No, you didn't. No, I got what. No, no. <laughs> hey, my commander. <laughs> Welcome tonight. Hey, it's good my to see commander. You. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Chris Persia got a got a story. Okay. Okay. To share. My dad takes these sublingual vitamin B. Uh, did I say that right? Sublingual. 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 Vitamin B. Ooh. The other day he went to the room and coughed up what he thought was blood. He called me over and I said that soft pink is your vitamin. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. It could change the color <sighs> of your bodily functions, y'all. This stuff. Oh my God. Wow. Hey, my commander. Uh oh. You got to do the music. <clears throat> Do 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 do. Dad do, joke do, from a Polynesian minion. Do, do, what did the grape say when do, it got do, stepped on? Do 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 do. Nothing. Do, it just let out do, a little do, wine. Do. Doing. <laughs> <Do, do, do. laughs> <Ching. laughs> I love it. I love it. A Polynesian. Oh my Thank god. Oh and continuing along the bodily functions and beets theme that we have for tonight, it wasn't undigested beets. It just started the poo and a little pink poo. Yeah, it, at the end of that colored, sentence, you know, it, it it's it so pretty. Uh, it's, it's, oh. All it the needs, pink all that poo little, is pretty. Oh my! God. The pink poo needs little eyelashes. Oh my! Like God. a little bow and, and <laughs> glitter. <laughs> Do you want to yeah. put glitter in it too, Arwen? Seriously, that's a cute emoji. <laughs> I'm always thinking about how to cute it, cutes up emojis. Because <laughs> one day I may have to get someone to make my uh, to make me some. Because I don't know how to oh do it. Gosh. So I, yeah, but so I have to know what to tell them. I have to know what to say. Hey, can you do this? And then just oh shake their heads gosh. and be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> now I really yeah, do want a little pink say. poo with a oh my smiley gosh. face and eyelashes and a bow. Uh, anyway, <laughs> hey, I did not start have this conversation. I did not start any of this, uh, y'all. You with didn't it. start the fire. Okay, I have a question. Did it hurt when your dad went? Or he? Just oh my God, Arwen! <laughs> no, it was a normal I don't poop. Know. From what my what? mom told me, it was a normal. But that he thought had blood, blood in it because blood of the in the juice. toilet because of the beets that he ate. I get it. I get that. God. I just was <laughs> <laughs> just thought 
but ask. <laughs> I, look, I get all into subjects and I want to know everything I can about oh it. Oh my like, God. Maybe, he, maybe he had a little pain and sharing, strain. I'm not sharing any words like that with you ever again. <laughs> what? No, that's not fair. <laughs> you can't talk about your dad's, you know, poop and beat and possibly blood. <laughs> And not ask, and my question of did it hurt? Okay, and if the the doctor told, if the doctor says to my dad, because he had already figured it out in his head exactly what it was. He knew what it was. my dad told him that. Yeah, he knew what it was. The doctor says, dip your finger in it and taste it. I mean. (laughs) There's no way he was serious. Oh, woman. No, he wasn't serious. He was (laughs) God, the, our doctor had a great sense of humor. <laughs> he does. I, I, I uh oh, uh oh, doctor. Uh, did you have a similar <laughs> incident, Orc? Oh my God, Orc! See a big old green Orc? Do uh, <laughs> being worried about <coughs> is that blood or is that beat in my poo? <laughs> It's just the visual of his avatar I, not, not I, eating beets no, anymore no because of after an incident. <laughs> doctor, I had blood in my poo. <laughs> <laughs> if the doctor be, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm fixated on this. <laughs> moving, moving right along. Okay, your turn. You ready? Oh, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> do my music. <clears throat> do, do the music. Do, 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 do. Dad jokes with the Polynesian minion. Dad joke. What did the farmer do with his ruined crop? He drop kicks some beets. Sick beets. Sick beets. I pooch. It. I'm sorry. He drop kicks some sick beets. Oh my god. To this sick beets. Oh my god. My boyfriend has been uh, Hollywood. Hollywood. I'm Taylor Swift. Yeah, I'm sick beat. Yeah, I've screwed everyone under the sun. But I got some pretty cool music and I'm rich. That was uh, that song. You know, the sick beats drops. Never mind. Never mind, y'all. I think I was the only one. <laughs> I, never mind. I, I have no idea about you, but the joke is. You probably don't funny. know that song that she does t- t- talking about dropping sick beats. And then she goes into Mm-mm. basically a, a, a rap about herself. Who? No, Taylor okay. Swift? No. Yeah, Taylor Swift. You don't know that one song? I don't. I don't. I stopped. Uh, what's the Taylor one Swift where she's like, like years dancing ago. around in this weird ballet outfit and they're all doing these weird moves in a dance studio? Is it Shake, You're asking shake the wrong It Off? One because shake. I don't. Shake It Up. I think it's that one. Anyway, it's. I know, <laughs> like, her. I know the stuff from her, like, first album, and that's it. Hey, I, I, you know, Taylor Swift may not thrill me personally. She's just not my style. But I will, I will give her total props for going out there and making her coin. Oh, she's a smart business She writes woman. all her songs. She plays her, her own instrument. She's a businesswoman. She's got some moxie you don't see in a lot of people her age or our age anymore. You just mm-hmm. don't see that. So I, I give her full girl go and sing about shaking oh, it. Yeah, she, and she's a, she's smart. Every guy you break up that. with, write a song about. I'm all for that. No, no, no. I know, I but mean, there's some people who got, do not like Taylor Swift. They do not like. Her. I don't like her at and all. I was kind of making fun of her. I was making but fun of her. I'll give but, yeah. you know credit I'll where credit is due. She is smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> she is, and she puts on a really good show, from what I understand. Um, I, I think Mary no, I have no went, to see, watching <laughs> went to see the film of her movie, or not her movie, um, of Taylor's concert. Mm-hmm. And she said it was great. Everyone was up in the seats, laughing, partying, having a good time. I'm like, shit, let, the, let, let people forget about the world and all the mm-hmm. bullshit out here for about 10 minutes. And let's just lose ourselves in an awesome, fun moment. I'm not good. I don't want to deny anyone that. You know, if it's an mm-hmm. artist or a movie or a show that I don't like, but they genuinely dig, and there seems mm-hmm. to be a hell of a lot of that going around the sphere, just calling it out because everyone else has said it and seen it. I don't care. I I don't. I love having a discussion with someone who likes something that I don't, or I you know I like mm-hmm. something they don't, and you know us just discussing it. But yeah, my point is, if we could just forget <laughs> ourselves for about five ten minutes. 
Mm-hmm. I, whoever, whoever has the ability to do that, <coughs> power to you. So get it, Taylor Swift, is and, my point. Yeah. Yeah, nothing against her. Uh, I just I don't like her. I mean, just. <laughs> yeah. 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 Arlene is like, so the beet juice. I'm unmoved. Yeah. I don't like her. But smart businesswoman. <laughs> oh, God. Chris Persia. He said, I would hope Taylor Swift puts on a good show at $2,000 a ticket. It better be. Yeah. Holy shit. That's just it, though, y'all. If somebody can actually charge that much money, $2,000, I'll even make that in a month. Woo. That's a fucking lot of money to me. That is, might as well be 200000 But the point is, if somebody can charge that and people will pay it, because they know what kind of a kick-ass show they're going to get. Again, that's smart. That's good. But I, I won't be at any of her concerts. <laughs> I ain't saving for three months to go one of her concerts. Oh, no, hell no. No chicken. Walk on. I don't give a shit. The only don't group care. I would have potentially saved, potentially, Save two thousand dollars for to go see. Oh my God, Rush! If it, I was going to say, under a caveat though, if Neil Peart had not died, because <laughs> if he had retired, which we all know now, the reason why he retired is because he had brain cancer. At the time, mm. nobody knew that, but his very, very close, you know, mm-hmm. circle. So the fans just, you know, we were all supportive of him retiring because they're not young anymore. But um. Mm-mm. It was still sad. You know, it was still bittersweet because Getty and Alex still wanted to tour, but Neil didn't. And they always agreed they would never tour without the three. There would never oh, be another rush. we'll get rush. back to that. Yeah, hang on. I'm, I'm almost done, y'all. But we'll my point get, is this. We'll get back to that, D-Nice Gamer. But real quick, I'm going to interject mm-hmm. real quick. Hey, Pacific. Okay. Oh, um, yes, yes. Everybody, if you haven't already, give Pacific a, a, a shot. He um. Does some great work over on his channel. And I believe he's now on Rumble as well. Yeah. I, I know he's yeah. on the tubes of you. But I, I think he's also on the Rumbles now too. So go uh, sub to his channel. Show Please do. Him some love. Show him some support. Please. We love Pacific. He's, awesome. he's a great hey. guy. He's just. Mm-hmm. Steady's a rock. We adore him. Okay. Let me finish mm-hmm. my story real quick. And then. And yes. Then yes. Yes. Can answer that first. Um, all right. But the point is. If the man had not died and just retired and Rush had been apart for a while and then come back for like a 50th fucking reunion years down the road and charge $2,000, yeah, I would probably save because that would be a one and a lifetime event never done again. You know, one night only, boom. So that I would do. But go mm-hmm. ahead, Arlena, t- what concerts do you like? Um, Concerts. I have been to many, many Many, 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 many concerts. <laughs> it started uh-huh. in the 90s with uh, 90s rock. Um, actually, I'm lying. My very first concert, y'all, was New Kids on the Block. <laughs> uh, and that was is that an the awesome one concert. with uh, but that's that the is that the baby baby band? Or girl, new kids on the block, good in a mirror, or whatever. I don't know. One of those what? boy bands, new kids. Is that the one with Donnie and Ronnie and Jer- Jakey? New kids on the block. Donnie Wahlberg which... was. Yes, Don... that's them. That's them. Donnie Wahlberg was a new <laughs> guy. Chris Purchase says, I don't know you anymore. <laughs> Look, let me finish. Let me he finish. Was or was that not was my very kid. okay. Yes, Donnie Wahlberg was in New Kids on the Block. Okay. Line. Yes. That's because there were so many so, boy bands around that time. I get them all mixed up. Okay. They were the first. They were good. Big. Okay. So you had, um, and you get me off topic here, but real quick, you had um, New Edition. You had Menudo. So you had your black boy band, you had your Hispanic boy band, and you had your white <laughs> boy band, New Kids on the Block. I they were all a pro. Approximately in the same time era, Ricky late Martin 80s, early 90s. In minuto. Yes, yes, La Vida so, Loca. Uh, <laughs> <Ricky Martin. laughs> yep, 
Hey, Miss Martin. But that was my, hey, that was my very first concert. <laughs> and y'all don't judge me. I was, I was a kid still. What the hell, you know? I, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> they made some really good songs. They did. I, I can't deny that. Just um, like that band Hanson then, with Mbop. That was one of my ringtones oh one time. Mbop was oh, my ringtone. So I, no shame, Arlena. No shame. No shame. <laughs> You keep going. <laughs> oh my God, Chris Persia. He's telling Jester he has to do something about me. He I liked me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe it's a girl thing, Chris, because I, I get where she's be. coming from. Yeah. I get it. Um, but that was my very first concert. Um mm -hmm. and I had to do a hell of a lot of babysitting to save up the money because I had to buy that damn ticket myself. Yeah. Um, and then it got into the nineties and the nineties rock started, you know, the grunge rock. So, um, we used to have a place here called the boat house. Anybody from the Hampton roads area will know the boat house. They had many, many, many concerts there. I went to damn near all of them <laughs> from about 16 upwards. <laughs> Yeah, Avenge Sevenfold, uh, Seven Mary Three. Um, I mean, name any group during that time, the grunge rock time, and and I probably have seen them in concert. Um, All right, let me. I have and, a question and, for you about that. Mm -hmm. Of all the concerts you've seen, do you have like okay, these bands were top five? That they were, even if maybe they're not your most favorite band, did, which which ones put on like the best fucking show that you remember? Um, because the Boathouse is a small, is a very small, intimate mm -hmm. mosh pit. I mean, um, concert place to go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I see. They were, were all going. pretty much just as good <laughs> as the other. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yes. Uh, mosh pits and crowd surfing was fun. Yes. <laughs> I told y'all. Just, you know, earthy or the earth. <laughs> Alina is like earth goddess. But, I'm just But like, then I, you know, I, uh, she, she's earth goddess. That's earthy. I love that. I would never be brave enough to do that, but I'll watch it. Can I stand at the sideline mm -hmm. and cheer you on while you're getting <laughs> surfed around, you know, the mosh pit? Oh, uh, Arlena, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you don't Arlena. surf around the mosh pit. You don't surf around the mosh. They don't pit. lift you up and and not in the mosh pit. No. Oh, not in the mosh. <laughs> okay, well, all right. No. We'll do that then. <laughs> no. I've never been to a mosh pit. Oh, uh, you have to look up what a mosh pit is, and then you'll understand <laughs> I mean, why it. I say no. But you okay. don't crowd surf in a mosh pit. <laughs> Hey, I've only been to a uh, but, lesbian bar. That's about as exotic <laughs> as I've gotten. Okay. <laughs> I swear to God. I mean, I have been to my share of nightclubs, but they've been London nightclubs, so they've been a little bougie. Oh no, there was no yeah. mosh pit in the Hippodrome. It just wasn't there when I was there in London. No, okay? and it probably wouldn't have been anyway. So, Not the right kind gay of Gay bars and lesbian bars, like I said, in New Orleans. In New Orleans, maybe that counts a little more gives me a little more street cred but right now you you after, yeah <laughs> i've never done a mosh pit after all those different series of concerts um i my next it's like i go through phases or something i know so you know my first one teeny bopper you know and it can unlock um <laughs> yeah exactly chris that's why i was well, like no, um, no Arwen, I thought, you okay, don't this is crowd what I surf in the mosh pit no you don't <laughs> this this is what i'm envisioning you don't do that. <laughs> okay oh it's kind of like the wave everyone's dancing doing their own thing you know in, in mm -hmm. like sports you're watching these these people in these stadiums and shit i don't go to them but you watch them Everyone's doing their own thing, cheering, dancing, and then all of a sudden somebody starts a wave and it, it catches on to the entire. Well, I see Arlena on her back, <laughs> you know, kind of wee crowd surfing on her back, and everyone's, they're bobbing up and down, dancing the music, and they're passing you along, 
You're like the wave. Well, they don't do yes, that. But not, yes, <laughs> but not in a mosh pit. They don't just stop it for a minute, become a wave pit? No. Okay. No. <laughs> well, no, Arwen. No. <laughs> no. So no crowd surfing in a mosh pit. In a mosh pit. No. Uh, uh, Chris Three, Persia. Yeah. I, I'm guessing Chris Persia knows exactly what a mosh pit is, which is why it he sounds said that. like it. <laughs> and so, and Chris Persia has probably been in a few mosh pits, maybe. <laughs> so millions of times. <laughs> oh my God! So, Over on Rumble, Scott. Maybe Owen was thinking about crowd surfing in the orchestra pit. <laughs> <laughs> so see, yeah. see we that are was right. Just a few. Do you see the things uh -huh. that people learn from our streams? We're, we're not yes. just, you know, giggly and laughy. We actually have real life. We're not just a couple of pretty faces, y'all. Yes, yes. Number one, um, fluffs are fluffs are real. Number two. Uh, shit, what was the one that about? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Now I can't remember. Oh, my God, I squirreled. I squirreled. Oh, my God, you squirreled. Oh, beats, beets. It's not blood. It's beets in your poop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you eat a lot of beets, that is an actual medical thing. So there you go. Thank you. We are not doctors. Mm -hmm. We're not giving medical advice. But yes, beets. And then three, never crowd surf in a mosh pit. That's probably life-saving right there. Well. That's life saving most advice. People, uh, to be fair, Arwen, most people probably already know that. <laughs> oh, I guess yes. I'm not most people. Yes, or I thought you really could. Oh my God, I'd <laughs> lose teeth. I've Are seen they people banging into get, each other's heads. I've seen people get concussions. Yes. Why would they do that? They don't have space. Arwen, them you've got to gotta look up. You've got to. Uh, you've got to <laughs> Google mosh pit so you'll understand. Um, so okay. uh, getting back to concerts real quick, um, cause I'm actually almost done. Uh, okay. I went through a phase, uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, they used to have lots of different concerts, um, that we were security for. So I got to see quite a few concerts, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, uh, Reba McIntyre saw Reba a couple of times. She actually, uh, one of, um, uh, no, two of the rodeos that they had on base. Uh, and mm -hmm. we had to provide security for her then. Um, gosh, I can't remember everybody that else. It was, it was a lot of different concerts. We didn't get to enjoy the concert, but mm -hmm. I can tell you my very first contact high was at the Tom Petty concert. <laughs> that was <laughs> my very first contact I high. I fully believe that. I fully believe that. <laughs> And then um, yeah. when when I got out of the Marine Corps, so lots of different genres of music and everything while I was in the Corps. And when I got out, I was kind of into country. So mm -hmm. I've seen, they used to have the, the country ticket um, with the venue, the concert venue that we have here in, in Virginia Beach. Mm -hmm. And if you buy one ticket, and it's for the same seat every country concert comes there. Um, so I paid like 800 bucks and got a fourth row seat every single country concert that went. My purpose of doing that was because at that time I was a huge Kenny Chesney fan. Uh -huh. And you could not get Kenny Chesney tickets because they sold out immediately as soon as they went on sale. You just couldn't get them. So by getting that ticket, I not only made sure that I got to go see Kenny Chesney, but I got to see all kinds of other groups as well. Yeah. And I, <clears throat> I saw so many, and um, so many different groups, um, with that were all country music at that time. Mm -hmm. And then um, I got into uh, different uh, genres of Christian music. Because, you know, you have Christian music, but there's different genres within that. Uh, mm -hmm. So I went and seen Toby Mac. I went and seen, um, oh, I can't think of her name. Uh, 
Mandisa, uh, mm-hmm. and then a couple more. And I haven't been to a concert in, in a lot of years. But I'd say the two best concerts that I ever went to in my the entirety of my life. Number two, in second place, that would go to Toby Mac. Because he does not just give a perform he, he he doesn't just sing songs. You get a performance. It is yeah. fucking awesome. But the number one spot, hands down, hands down, the best concert, and I've been to a lot of fucking concerts, y'all. The best concert I've ever been to in the entirety of my life was Toby Keith. He put on a hell of a show, and we're talking all kinds of props, all kinds of stuff on the stage. Just I, I, unbelievable. And he performed for the audience. It was just mind blowing. It was so good. <laughs> and he's the one who's not gay. <laughs> right? <laughs> Remember, there's two we've of them that I we, keep we've mixing. Been, no, I know no, that's we've why I'm. This, that's Arlen, why I'm saying he's the one who's and not the one gay. that the, other one, the one that you are talking about is was actually a Christian singer. Toby I know, Keith is I know a that. Country I know, but I singer. Still, that's why. <laughs> and Toby Keith is very much not gay. Okay, that's why I'm. I, I don't. The other guy, y'all, I don't care if he's gay. That's fine. Whatever. That's his. It's his thing. I. I always get them mixed up. That's why I'm making sure. I don't know why, because his name isn't even close. Because you looked up his name, and and you were like, oh, it's here. (laughs) And and his name is not even close to Toby's name. (laughs) It's because both of their names are short, to the point, and they both end, I mean, they both start with, like, you know, letters that are towards the end of the alphabet. They're grouped together. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just for some reason <laughs> I get those two mixed I up. I don't know. Oh my gosh. No, no Toby one. Keith is not gay. He's not gay. No, he's, he's not. Completely not gay. <laughs> That's I'm sorry. And Y'all, he I'm has not also, picking on either. Just saying. He's also passed on. That was a huge loss for the it for the was. world because he was he was a great it artist was. and he was a good human being. He did a lot for yeah. charities and stuff. But yeah, that, that's all of my concert experiences. I mean, <clears throat> I've oh had God. quite a few. And how about yours, Arwen? Oh, uh, wow. We've <laughs> already been streaming an hour. Time goes by fast. You know, it would have been a hell of a lot more appropriate <laughs> if I oh. said, oh, the one who recently passed. And then yes, it said, really yes. would have. <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot that he had passed too. I'm oh so my. sorry. Oh, and oh, I feel terrible. There's one, I'm so sorry. There's one okay. concert that I regret not going to because they are my all time favorite band. And obviously, they're, they're not going to be doing any touring. Uh, Lincoln Park. I never got to see them in con- um, the When they came around, I just didn't have the money to buy a mm-hmm. ticket. So. You know, responsibilities and stuff. Other things had to come first. So I never actually got to see him. And and I, I really wish I could have. But oh well. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Mm-hmm. But oh. That's all mine. All right. I, I, I've, I haven't been to a whole lot of concerts. But the ones I've been to, I mean... It's like heavy duty concerts. These are all heavy hitters. And what I mean by that is it's kind of, if you don't like their music, of course you probably won't enjoy their concert as much, but objectively these bands give off a fucking good concert. They're interactive with the audience. Um, Mm -hmm. Their music is sound. You know how some bands they're perfect on vinyl, but then in live they're just, Oh well, yeah. Don't add a, they, they sound don't like shit. Up. Yeah. These all sound amazing. You can tell they're live, but they, you know, it's just, they're just phenomenal. They're really, really good performers. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say one is Alice Cooper y'all. 
Mm -hmm. I loved him so much. The first time I saw him, I went another time years later and saw him again. And there was a summer of love between Alice and I and his, you know, his music. I just fell in love with his music. I mean, you know, what is it? Cold Ethel and just poison. And all, I just loved his music. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but damn, even kind of fall, you know, I still like some of his music, but even kind of falling out of love with him, I can objectively say his, he puts on a show that is so, I, I don't know oh, what yeah. he charged, but it was so worth the money. So Alice Cooper, um, Cheap Trick, I've seen them several times and they are fan, the original lineup, the original lineup. Well, this was after I think Peterson came back after their basis came back. He had gone, mm -hmm. he went away and then came back. Phenomenal show. Yes. Um, Brian Adams, believe it or not, put on a fan fucking tastic show that had everyone on their feet nearly the entire damn concert. You know, everyone's mm -hmm. swaying lighters when he's singing all the the love songs. Mm -hmm. And I'll say this: his love songs get you um, everything I do. His that that was my wedding song. I fucking mm -hmm. love that song. But great concert and of course rush only seen them once but it was the best concert i've ever seen it mm -hmm. really was so yeah that's that's probably my i've seen others i've seen i've seen you too and they were okay they were good mm -hmm. but these other these other people really put on a show they worked for it oh yeah the ones you remember yes chris Yes, school's out for summer. School's out for summer. School's yep. out for ever. <laughs> Talk about a smart guy, y'all. Alice Cooper is a businessman. Oh, hell and yeah. And that's why he doesn't get involved in all this political, I am a star, listen to me Look, bullshit. And he has said it. My mom. I don't get involved, he said. You talk about someone who loves Alice Cooper, my mom loves fucking alice cooper she <laughs> loves love 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 loves alice cooper he has a charm because <sighs> it's a character it's a total character mm -hmm. oh yeah Shit, he makes fun of himself in movies like um dark uh, dark shadows the one with johnny depp yeah go uh -huh. to the koopa woman and he's in there performing <laughs> as alice i mean you know he's always kind of put wayne's world mm -hmm. It's actually yep. Milwaukee. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Alice Cooper is He's, and that's really how smart he is. I, mean, I know. That's, I know. And I'm like geeking out over Alice Cooper. Uh, or I'm so oh, shit. And Chris yes. doesn't like the concert that Brian Adams put on in Sydney. Let's see. He said he he did put on a great show in Sydney. Oh, he did. he did. He had a mini stage set up in the back of the concert hall, which the band ran to in the middle of the performance while the light went out. He really <laughs> did. It was it was well thought out. And I've never seen Pink Floyd live in concert. Ooh, but let me tell you, y'all want a fucking experience? Look up Comfortably Numb. Um, mm -hmm. uh, shit. David, is it David Gilmore? I don't Pink know. Floyd. Okay. Totally <laughs> numb or comfortably numb. Comfortably numb. I think it's I think it's com comfortably numb. I God. Uh, Pink Floyd. Have become comfortably numb. And the one that God, I wish I could remember what it was called. It's more of a recent one. It's not with Roger Waters. It's just with um what's his name? Gilmore. I, I don't know. Anyway, I that, have no idea. Watch that song. <laughs> That particular that concert song and it just takes you like you're on clouds. It's amazing. It's the Pulse Kill. concert live. Thank you, thank you, or yeah, y'all. Pink Floyd, comfortably numb. Pulse concert live. Watch mm. that song. That is a concert experience in about five minutes. <laughs> Those motherfuckers. That is when I would love to have seen Pink Floyd, right then, that era. <laughs> and I'm a Floyd fan, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> you were trying no, to No, I would I um no, I have to I really have to use the powder room, but we've been over an hour, so 
let's I okay let's wrap, wrap let's wrap it up because so, we'll be here tomorrow yes what do we have going on you said tomorrow uh, are we not activated are we not activated and yeah. do you do you want should we tell them our subject or just uh we'll surprise show up y'all and find out. you show up and find out you'll see on our uh thumbnail and description and everything yeah it's something so of concern to us so yes. okay yes and also because we almost completely flipping forgot go subscribe to mary mary's game room uh loki's mornings of mischief uh fat steven seagull uh or fat steven jfg, JFG is that what he is rumble. now JFG on rumble um pacific 414 and who else did we say i forget i don't know these are the people that we love go subscribe to them help out everyone look out for everyone if they're not great content creators we're not going to send you all over there most of you know them anyway but why the hell not send a shout out to them right you know it and can't of course back to did we say back to and a back to yeah well, of I mean, course back to you know. my god back to y'all <laughs> Yes. You have to get your own channel. <laughs> right? Jeez, I'm the co-host. I'm supposed to remember. Yeah, exactly. I'm Back worrying about every I'm worrying about everybody else, not I myself. Know. <laughs> I know. And I was like, should I should I yeah, I'm gonna interject. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's, okay. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, definitely. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. So we're gonna get out of here because I really have to use the battle room and um dinner's ready. So we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all. And there are still kind people out in the world. If you can't find one, then damn it, be one. Uh -huh. Bye, y'all. Bye.